Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. And it will be from the 15th to the 21st of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. And thank you for the well wishes. Uh, those of you that know I injured my back just over a couple of weeks ago, um, I did take some time off to recover. And it is getting better, but I think I just have to be patient, which probably isn't one of my strongest points. <laughs> anyway, let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. What do we have for our lovely Sagittarians? Thank you. 15th to the 21st of February 2021. Message for Sagittarius. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, very much in line with your uh, element, passion, fire energy. Um, something is sparking your passions this week. Feels very beautiful. Okay, what do we have for Sagittarius, please, angels? Message for our lovely Sagittarians, 15th to the 21st of February 2021 message for Sagittarius thank you okay we have truth and integrity okay so I am going to pull three cards the first card as you all know by now is the issue or challenge for the week the second card is advice from spirit the third card is the outcome and then we clarify the cards and go deeper into the message as we always do and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you okay so what do we have for Sagittarius please okay that turned over seven of pentacles seven of wands is advice from spirit and we have the king of cups Gemini card of Scorpio for me as a reader Okay, message for Sagittarius, please. Angels, spirits, guides, message for Sagittarius, thank you. Okay. Can we clarify the cards on the table, please, for Sagittarius, thank you. So we have the Eight of Wands. Seven of Wands is clarified by the Five of Wands. And the King of Cups is clarified with the Knight of Wands, which is Sagittarius for me as a reader. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Pentacles. Okay. So there is definitely something to do with something about being in your passion, allowing your passion to own you, to guide you, to allow you to drive you, to take action. You know, it feels that your passions, I'm definitely getting this energy, are, are going to lead the way this week and allow them to. Don't fight them. Because this is also Sagittarian energy. You know, the Eight of Wands, if, if you've experienced delays, um, setbacks, things not happening as quickly as you wanted them to, there's definitely some kind of conversation shift, um, you know, that feels for some of you that it's coming your way. Uh, but it's a challenge, you know, it doesn't feel like it's happening quickly enough. Seven of Pentacles is a card of you're being tested, you know, you are... It feels for some of you persevering, persevering, um, 
keep on taking action, keep on going. It's an energy of good things come to those that wait. But it's an element of frustration with this card because it doesn't happen as quickly as you want it to. And again, this feeling of the challenge, the shift isn't coming as quickly enough. The transformation isn't coming as quickly enough. The opportunity isn't coming quickly enough. The news, the conversations aren't coming quickly enough. The growth isn't happening. So it feels for some of you that there's an element of just keep on going keep on going because it feels that you will bring that shift your way can be to do with travel as well the eight of wands can be to do with travel yeah so that might resonate for some of you there's definitely a feeling between these two cards some of you might be competing for something and it's not happening quickly enough you want to get the goal you want to get the reward you want to get you know, it feels in this situation competing up against other people. And there's definitely an energy here of don't focus on how other people are faring. Don't pit your energy and time against other people. This is about staying in your own power. Um, because that's how you get on top of a situation. That's how you gain the advantage. By focusing on your own power, your own passions, your own ability to bring growth and success into your life. That's how you'll overcome any obstacle and get above the competition. It feels you're competing for something here. and You might well be, you might have been through one or two rounds of competing for something. I mean, that could be something that's very close to your heart. Yes, it can be in terms of money, career, business. It also feels in this situation, Sagittarius, I mean, it could be something that you're very passionate about, maybe sports, you know, that kind of energy as well. A scholarship, you know, you, you kind of get what I'm saying. Um, there can be a card of just tensions, um, tense situation or heated discussions, um, feeling a little bit... Uh, things are against you, you know, that kind of energy. So any of you who are looking to, to, to move, relocate as well, again, with this travel energy, it might well be for some of you that just things, you are getting on top of it, even though you might not see it, you know, the message is just keep on going. You will bring that shift, that change that you've been looking for. Now, the interesting thing is, the change is coming because, again, the Knight of Wands is the opportunity you've been waiting for. The change happens. Again, the Knight of Wands brings the opportunity. Um, King of Cups can be... Obviously, this can be to do with love, romance, relationships, um, matters of the heart, you know, that kind of energy. Um, waiting for some kind of opportunity or could be with somebody or some kind of offer an opportunity from somebody that's very much in line with your passions and desires the message is that there will be some kind of opportunity here that will allow you to start manifesting a new path i mean it could be for some of you certainly with this ace of pentacles the offer to move in with somebody the offer to move home with somebody you know that kind of energy in terms of business and career as well the king of cups again it can be a person it can also symbolize secretly putting something into action. So secretly taking action towards something, keeping your cards close to your chest. And again, it could be to do with what you're competing for. And the message is you will get the golden opportunity. You will get offered. It feels that what you're competing for, what has taken a lot of energy and time, that hasn't really gone as quickly as you wanted it to. There may have been some delays here. You know, the offer is coming. The Ace of Pentacles is the golden opportunity, the offer, financial career opportunity. Again, moving, relocating. So that could be in terms of love to do with passions and desires or secretly competing for some kind of new opportunity, new job, new, um, you know, business, you know, that kind of energy. And the message is, it's coming your way. This is so beautiful. It's given to you by the hand of God, the universe, the divine. And it's also a card of the helping hand as a reward for your hard effort, hard work, which the pentacles is. It's hard effort, practical work that can be draining, 
This is the reward, you know, this is the gift that you're being given, the new door opening, the new opportunity that you've been taking action towards. So for some of you, I really like the energy here. Um, really like the energy here. The golden opportunity is coming your way. Really, really love that. That could be with somebody here. Again, this could be a person. Um, can also be what you've been taking action towards. The door is finally opening. You could have been putting some secret plan into action here. And, you know, the Knight of Wands, which is Sagittarius, can sometimes be a card of, oh, thank goodness, the change is finally here. The opportunity is finally here. I can put that challenging situation behind me now, you know. It's a kind of relief. I'm in my element. I'm feeling my fire. I'm fulfilling my passions. You know, it's that kind of energy. So definitely wonderful, wonderful, positive, new beginning coming your way. Offer, opportunity, new door opening. Again, very, very beautiful. Uh, it's the beginnings of abundance, this. It's the beginnings of not lacking for anything. Or it's a building block energy as well. So the beginnings of building something that will lead to success if you take action towards it. Okay, final message for Sagittarius, please. Final message for Sagittarius, thank you. Yeah, we have moon energy, surrender to the natural ebb and flow of life. If you're feeling confused, this fairy comes to calm emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible. Yeah, you might be hearing some kind of something that gives you peace of mind. Maybe some kind of feedback this week that is telling you that you're getting an advantage or ahead um, by your sheer will determination you know, it definitely feels for some of you, you're rising head and shoulders above some kind of challenge. And then, bam, the shift happens. What you've been waiting for, the shift is happening here. So very beautiful energy. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you, Sagittarius, and I will see you next time. Thank you.